Hey, listen up. People are talking. Now I know this ain't true, but they're saying you're working for the cops. Make sure you prove them wrong. I'll take care of the guy spreading the rumor. Alright, you got that Baron guy's attention. He's dying to race you. Don't wait. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted. In this episode, we're going to be racing off against Blacklist number 10, Baron. We've completed his race events and his milestone events, but I can't challenge him just yet. First, I need to pimp our rides out. The Mustang GT is going to stay stock, but you guys said we want the Lancer Evolution 8 to look like a rally car and the Mercedes SL500 to look like a VIP style uh, body kit Mercedes. So, first things first, I'm going to take these two rides and I'm going to pimp them out. And then, we are going to take the Evolution, and we're going to race Baron's Porsche Cayman S with it. So let's take the Mercedes first, because it's not going to be showcased in this video. I'm just going to show off, as always, the before and after of its stats, as well as the before and after of its appearance. So let's take this little baby to our uh, workshop, and get started on it, shall we? Alright, so we're looking at the Mercedes right now, before we do anything to it. I want you to look once again at the yellow bars and see how it looks before. And this is what it looks like after. The Mercedes has become a beast. But it's not going to be showed off this episode just yet. Maybe later on we'll see it wreck shit. I mean, this is better than the Supra. This VIP style Mercedes is going to be one hell of a ride. Alright folks, check out the VIP Mercedes. Black. With Koenig wheel rims, I put a small, subtle spoiler on it. Black everything. This is the slowest, this is the lowest body kit I could get that didn't really mess with the subtle look of the car. Uh, this is really the best body kit we could use, body kit number one. If you guys don't like the appearance of this VIP Mercedes, uh, just look at the parts list and let me know if there's something else you want. Maybe if you want me to remove the spoiler over here, or if you want me to pick a particular type of... Uh, type of body kit, maybe something for the roof or the, or the hood, but otherwise I think this Mercedes looks pretty badass as it is. Anyway, let's get started on the on the rally uh, Lancer Evolution 8. Alright, so first things first with performance, once again, these yellow bars are where the car currently is at. Ignore the blue coming out after the yellow bar because that's just showing how much it could increase by if I put this part on it. So this is our evolutions before status, and this is after status. It doesn't look like much of an increase, but that's because the parts I want to get that really push the limit are currently locked. Still, this evolution is pretty damn pimped out like this. Now, it's time to make it as rally coupe as possible. And alright folks, we have finished pimping out our rally Mitsubishi Lancer evolution. As you can see, I picked a very matte, non-glossy, non-metallic red because I figured it would look a little bit better, even though our car does look a bit like a peppermint. And I have attached decals all over the place to show off what parts our car currently is using. For instance, we have Gioretti and Venom uh, engine parts. Uh, trans for the transmission, we have Advanced Clutch Technology, Clutch Masters, Skunk 2 Racing, Suspension down here, Brakes over here, Roja Wheels, Nitrous Express Turbo and KVR Performance uh, Suspension. As, I get, if, as we update the Lancer Evolution with better parts, I will of course update the stickers. But right now I'm pretty happy with this peppermint looking uh, Lancer Evo. Anyway, let's take this baby and race Baron for his Porsche. Hopefully we'll get his Cayman S and we're gonna get very very happy by making a douchebag cry. Let's race. So, Baron is ready to challenge us. Let's see what challenges he has set up. He wants a sprint race and a drag race. Now, fair warning in advance, uh, I'll probably script the drag racing a couple of times, hopefully not too much, but the sprint race should go pretty easily. Let's get to it.
my god, huge man children over here. And as you can see, I've also picked up a new a a new uh, a new gauge for our car. I try to make it red and white to match the appearance of the car. And I really like this, this particular uh, gauge because it's got that REM, the very stylistic REM zone. And Baron let, let us take the inside for some reason. Now I've been speaking with AAA about the cars we've currently got, and because I, I realize it's kind of boring to describe what's happening on screen, I'll talk a little bit about the evolution. Um, in AAA's opinion, the Lancer Evolution is the, probably the best Mitsubishi uh, car Mitsubishi Motors has made. Just because it's so damn customizable, it's so, so powerful, you know, if you know what you're doing with it. And, oh my goodness, hang on, pause that for a moment. I love that shortcut. I love it when it's open. Usually the second shortcut's also open in the uh, hospital, but whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, AAA said that the uh, Evolution is one of the favorite uh, cars to, to mod because it's so damn easy to mod and it's so damn powerful. It's so damn willing to receive as, much, as many modifications as you'd like. And uh, fun tri trivia fact, apparently the Lancer Evolution is one of the most stolen cars in the United States. Like the ratio of legitimate owners to stolen owners is heavily skewed. And I, I think I thought that was pretty funny because it shows that you know if the thieves want this car so bad it must be good. And man, we're smoking Baron right back there. This rally car is this croupe. I should call it. I should call it something. I, I don't know if peppermint is a good nickname for it. If you guys have a better idea for a nickname, you know, let me know in thread. Although I wouldn't mind calling it the peppermint. I mean, we seem to have a food theme going with the. Uh, more rosy cars. Oh, Baron's starting to catch up. All those times he was just playing dumb, I guess. I'm just not speaking right now because I'm trying to concentrate as much as possible on the race and Baron is starting to catch up. Let's go through the center here. 95% done, we're almost done. Oh, we got this, he crashed, we got this. Alright, score one for the rally car. A few stats for you all. So far, so good. On to the drag race. Oh boy. One of my least favorite race types. Here we go. So far, so good. Oh dear. Oh wow, that was... That was really easy. <laughs> we beat Baron so damn well. I guess this, this car was the right tool for the job. Baron was right behind us though, look at the time on that. Awesome. Hopefully now, now that Baron's beaten, we can get his Cayman S. Cross your fingers, everybody. Oh man, here we go. The moment of truth. Can we get this douchebag's Cayman S and rescue it from a life of servitude? <laughs> this is, ugh, this is the worst. 
I know I made it. I made. I made fun of the get out of jail free card, but this is even worse than that. Uh, middle. All right. Who's the best? We're the best. We've rescued the Cayman S from Baron's filthy clutches. Now we have one of the best mid-tier cars at our disposal, even though it looks ugly as hell. Unfortunately, we can't get the performance upgrades, but you know what? I really don't care. As always, the pink slip is the most important marker you want to get, just because it opens up your possibilities so much. We have also unlocked new cars, but I'm not going to buy any new cars right now, just because we still have to show off the Mercedes, and maybe the Porsche as well. And here's our next rival racer, Earl, Blacklist 9. He's also the only black guy on the list. He's a, he drives on Evolution 8, just like us. And he's good at sprint races, which is funny because sprint races are my favorite type of race. So, he is a big fan of imports, clearly shown by his Mitsubishi. He goes on his, out of his way to take on the big blocks, which is probably why he's number 9. He got up high on the list. So let's see his movie. Awesome. We've done a good thing, guys. We have beaten Baron. We have pimped out Mercedes style VIP, Lance Evolution 8, and we've gotten this Kim and S into our ranks. Look at the look at the stats on that thing. Just as it is, it's already damn good. And we can definitely use this later on if we'd like to. So far, so good. We're doing great. In the next episode, we are going to take on Earl's revents and milestones. But for now, let's just bask in the silence of victory. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Alright guys, this has been Olive Branch. I'll catch you next time. See ya!